Hi guys, welcome back to Cooking with Cat. Today we're making what the French call coq au vin blanc, which means um, chicken in a white wine sauce. And it's so good, so delicious. It's slowly braised with onions, garlic, and bacon. Come on, I'll show you what I'm talking about. So for this recipe, you're going to need bone in and skin on chicken thighs. You're going to need white wine. Now choose a dry white wine, um, I, even if, I mean, I absolutely don't drink wine. I just use it for foods um, because it just gives such a rich taste. So I have here some Pinot Grigio. Um, you're also going to need heavy milk, diced um, and chopped white onions. Now you can use pancetta, but I, I have bacon here. So if you have bacon, I have thick cut bacon, but you can use the thin one if you'd like. Just chop it up and also diced and chopped fresh garlic. And the dry uh, seasonings will be salt, black pepper and thyme okay so besides this time you're going to need time and patience for this dish but i can guarantee you is finger licking worth it so the first thing that we're going to do is season up our chicken okay and um i have here some salt i'm gonna just season everything remember if you do it on the top also do it on the bottom just a slight sprinkle of it, of it. you know this sauce this chicken will have so much going on. Now, because we're going to use the bracing method, which is, you know, you're gonna brown your chicken and then uh, leave it in a sauce for about, you know, quite some time, you don't wanna use chicken breast because that's the driest part of the meat and then your chicken, if you use chicken breast, it's just going to become way too plasticky. Okay, and then sprinkle some, some thyme. Now the thyme is optional, but I just love the flavor that it gives. Okay, I'm gonna turn it around and do the same thing and then we're gonna put it in a plate. Meanwhile, I finish um, seasoning the chicken. On the back, I have a pan that's heating up just with a little bit of, of uh, vegetable oil. You can use olive oil if you'd like and then we'll get to it. So when you're finished seasoning up your chicken, make sure that your pan is nice and hot so it can sizzle. That is your cue that it is ready. So if you're not sure if it's uh, hotter, there you go, that's your cue. So just um, add a few tablespoons of vegetable oil or olive oil if you'd like and put your skin to brown and then you're going to do the same thing with this side just to brown not for it to cook through you just want it nice and brown and I have the heat at medium high okay so just place them kind of move them around so all of them can fit and brown them maybe it'll take oopsie doopsie maybe it, it should take about a minute and a half or two and do the same thing on the other side. So you guys see how it is um, lightly golden? That's all you really want on both sides. I did that on medium high heat. And all those brown bits, again, in the bottom of the pan, you do not want to get rid of it because that is all flavor, my friends, all flavor. So what we're gonna do is take out, whoops, take out all of your chicken. Okay, this one's giving me a hard time here. <laughs> so take it all out. Put it on a clean plate. Make sure that plate is clean. Okay, keep it on uh, medium, medium heat. And now what we're going to do is add our bacon. Okay, and fry it until it is slightly golden. You don't want it too crispy. You just want it slightly golden. So we're gonna cook it for about maybe a minute or two until you start seeing that it's um, not that pink, but more golden. And then we're gonna add our onions. Okay guys, I've been cooking my uh, bacon for about three minutes um, until slightly golden brown. And because I'm using thick cut bacon, it rendered out a lot, and I mean a lot of grease. So I drained out that grease and just left just a little bit, okay? So you wanna cook your onions when you're still on medium heat, medium high. You want to cook your onions until they become a little soft, maybe for an additional minute. And then we're going to get ready to add our, our garlic. Okay, so I'm just going to add it all in because the onions are softening very, very quickly. So we're going to add all of this good and amazing garlic and just wait for the garlic and the onions to cook down a little bit and I'll show you the next step. Guys, check this out. This the onions, the garlic, and the bacon has been cooking for about two minutes. We're gonna add your chicken back in. 
all of your chicken pieces back in, okay? And it's still in medium heat. And what you're gonna do is now add your, your white wine. Now, if you say, I completely do not believe in cooking with white wine, it's fine, but I just wanna let you know that it will cook all of the alcohol out. So just bathe your chicken in white wine. It smells incredible. Okay, and now we're, what we're going to do, you're going to cover it and you're going to put the heat to low and what it's going to do is just brace slowly and the meat will just become, the, the chicken thighs will become so tender and so, so great. It's going to cook slow and low for about 45 to 50 minutes and we'll see you then. Voila! 50 minutes, about 50, 53 minutes of our chicken slowly bracing and it smells so delicious and so wonderful. Look at that wine sauce. Oh my gosh. So let's take out all of the chicken and transfer it to a clean plate. And then with your heavy cream handy, what you're going to do is pour your heavy milk or your heavy cream. Okay, just a splash of it. And then we're just going to stir it all together. Bring it up to a boil, and then we're gonna just simmer it down. Keep stirring, even if it looks separated, just keep stirring and it'll come all together. So my sauce with the cream has been boiling for about um, a minute and a half or two. Just keep stirring until you get to a, th a little, you know, much of a thicker consistency um, and creaminess of it. And everything's all well combined. What we're going to do is add our chicken. Okay, add our chicken. And this is still on medium, about medium, medium high heat. Add all of your chicken. Guys, this smells incredible. The chicken literally looks so tender. Like, I just want to dunk all of my face in there and just eat it. This is amazing. So I believe at the beginning, I forgot to mention that at the end, I was going to add some fresh parsley. And this is what's going to top your dish right here. So put it on low and just let it sit there just for a few seconds right before we serve it all up. You guys, can you even help yourselves right now? Like seriously, seriously, I will let this Sit. I'm going to turn off the heat and let it just sit for two minutes before we serve it and we'll give it a taste. Our creamy chicken and white wine sauce is all finished. Would you guys take a look at this? It is incredibly, you know, the smell that's coming out of this plate is just out of this world. This chicken is so tender, like it literally just falls out like check this out you guys oh my goodness everything is so creamy so tender like you guys need to make this for your loved ones this valentine's day let's give that a taste because i'm so dying to taste it mm. literally it disappears in my throat because it is that that good Go out of the box um, for this Valentine's Day. Make your dinner at home in the comfort of your home. Serve this with white rice, with mashed potatoes, or with a French baguette, just like I'm doing right now. I'm just gonna tear this up. I am just gonna tear this plate up. Look at this. I'm just soaking it, soaking it, soaking it. I mean, what else can I do? This sauce is like out of this world. Mmm. You guys. I'm going to stop talking because I'm going to dig in again. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, I will leave in the description box some information. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.